Tommy are beautiful cats. Tommy is a chinchilla Persian with long silver gray hair. He has a sturdy build, intelligent head, and ears placed far apart, the points of a good cat. Fluffy has pretty black and white markings and is half Persian. She is large because it is nearly time for her to have her kittens. The two cats play together every day and eat from the same dish. Cats like meat, especially liver and fish and canned cat food. And of course, they often catch mice and gophers. Cats are useful in keeping rats and mice away from homes and barns. Fluffy likes to sit quietly in the woods, looking for mice. Now, where did she go? A cat carries her kittens for 63 days before they are born. Fluffy keeps herself clean. Cats know how to care for themselves, and all they really need from us is water, food, and affection. The day finally arrives, and Fluffy has six new kittens, and they look very much like their father, Tommy. She takes good care of them and barely leaves them long enough to eat. Phil lifts Snowball and holds him very carefully because small kittens must not be handled. Snowball's eyes will not be open until he is 10 or 14 days old. Fluffy keeps her kittens in a box in the basement. There is a soft pad in the box. The sunshine is too warm and the kittens can only stay out of the cool basement for a short time. They are unhappy and try to get out of the box. Fluffy hears them crying and moves them one by one to the shade. She picks them up by the loose skin at the back of the neck. However, only tiny kittens should be lifted this way. Later, they need more support. Back she comes for Smokey. But where is he? Outside the box. She will return until each one is in the shade. Time now to take them all back to the basement. Fluffy's sister has kittens that are five weeks old. Diana likes to cuddle the lovable kittens. Each one is different. She tries to gather the five little kittens together. But they scamper away. Tuffy has a scar on his face and is the most adventurous. Smokey is the most gentle, and Blackie the most timid. Teddy teaches the younger children how to care for the kittens. Calico, the father cat, likes to have his ears rubbed. Diana and Teddy are amused over the antics of the kittens. Children and kittens have been playmates for hundreds of years. Calico and Muffy are strong cats with good dispositions and have fine kittens. Diana puts the kittens in their box, but they soon crawl out. Timid Blackie is the last. Ronnie is only four years old and is learning how to care for the kittens and dogs. He holds Smokey under his knee. He doesn't hurt her, but she tries hard to get out.
Up she comes. Patches and Spot are just the right dogs for a little boy. Dogs and cats are good friends when they're brought up together. Spot is as kind to the kittens as their mother, and the kittens often cuddle up to her and go to sleep. Spot watches to see what the kittens will do next. The kittens are old enough to go exploring, and Tuffy wanders over to the chicken yard. The big rooster crows right in Tuffy's face. The little kitten returns to his mother and the other kittens. They have played long enough, and Muffy takes them back to the house. In case of danger, she and the kittens are more secure near the house. From the time they are little, she trains them. Sometimes she's rough, but the little ones understand. She makes sure that each kitten nurses, and she shows them how to keep clean. Tuffy needs extra scrubbing. Cats are clean, both in taking care of themselves and in the house. Muffy is tired, too, and takes a nap with her kittens. Soon the kittens are rested and ready to play again. Their motions are quick and graceful. You wouldn't think an old rake and spade could be so entertaining. Kittens learn to protect themselves when they are very young, because they will often need to know how. Kittens should not be taken from their mother until they are six weeks old. Kittens like these, and lions and tigers, all belong to the cat family. Cats can climb trees, catch rats, and defend themselves against animals much larger than they are. The kittens play peekaboo around the handle. As the kittens grow older, they need additional food. Teddy brings a bowl of milk, and the kittens learn to drink from the bowl. A mother cat, too, needs plenty of nourishing food when she is nursing her kittens. Spot, too, is hungry, but she knows she must not bother Muffy until she is finished. A cat can be cross when she protects her kittens. Nothing to do but wait. Cats demand so little. Water, good food, a clean, dry place to sleep, exercise, and care.
Now Spot can drink. Is there anything more fun than a family of little kittens? Thank you.